Hi, so this is the fourth video in the series on vectors, the playlist on vectors. Uh, we are really at the, the kind of upper reaches of high school maths, uh, around about AA star type questions. And this is actually part B of a question that we looked at before. And what we looked at before was working out vector OS. So we got vector OS, and if you look at the previous video, what we found out was that vector OS is a half P plus a half Q. Okay, that's fine, and that's from the last video. You need to a little bit of refreshing on that. Please do look at the previous video. Okay, so the next question they give us, which is part two, is to show that vector RS or RS this line across here is parallel to OQ. So this is parallel to this. Okay, well, I hope you can see that okay on the board, but I've drawn the, the little sort of parallel lines, little arrows on, and hopefully that'll remind you that when you've got parallel vectors, that it must be that RS is a multiple of vector Q. Okay. And that's quite an important principle. And if you look back at, uh, I think, the introduction to vectors, it does make that point that where you've got parallel vectors, so uh, in this particular case, we've got RS. Now, if it's parallel to OQ, then it must be a multiple of vector Q, and we need to prove that. OK, so let's look at vector RS. All right, well, if we want to get from vector RS, we know that um, we're here. Now, at that point here, we're looking at RO. So remember, we can't go across RS because we don't know what that vector is. So we've got to go from R to O, and then we've got to go from O to S, and that will actually get us from R to S. Just seems a little bit complex at the moment. And this is why this is a kind of an A star type question. So I hope you're following me okay. All right, so we're here. We've got to go from R to O, and then we've got to go from O to S, so plus O S. All right, so let's have a look at that. Well, if we're going from there to there, then we know that is going to be minus a half P. Now the reason it's minus a half P is because this is a midpoint. We're also told this is a midpoint. Okay, or if it was a midpoint, um, then it would be a half. So this is a half here and a half here. In most of the sense, a midpoint on the other side. So um, we've got minus P because we're going in this direction. We're going opposite direction to the vector, and it's only half of it. So minus a half P. We're going to add that to vector OS, which we've already worked out in the previous question. Now, typically in these types of questions, they, they do lead one to the other. So you have to really get the first bit right to be able to answer the second bit. We're going to add this to OS, and that's a half P plus a half Q. OK, well, so that means then that vector RS, which if it's parallel to OQ is a multiple of uh, Q is actually a multiple of Q because you've got a minus a half P plus a half P means it cancels itself out and you're just left with a half Q. So therefore, because it's a multiple of Q, it's a half of Q, then it means it must be parallel to OQ at the bottom there. OK, <laughs> um, I hope that's all right. Um, it takes a little bit of time to work through. Please do add a comment below. I'll always respond to comments. Uh, please do subscribe to the site. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. When I've had a cup of tea. <laughs>